I don't know. Have you watched any Secret Any? I thought Secret Invasion was going to be an entire movie. I didn't realize it was a series. I think they were originally planning for it to be a movie, and then they changed it to a series. Mm, that makes more sense. Um, I definitely I watched the first episode, and I was disappointed, so I didn't watch the next one. I'm waiting for it to uh, go live. I'm waiting for all of it to go live before I watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. I might try and watch it again, but not really a fan right now. I think I think it's interesting. Disney dug up all of their old animation. One thing that is they're getting bashed for is that they have uh, AI generated like uh, opening credits for for the Secret Invasion. Wait, how do you know what? What do you mean AI? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, it's like AI generated art. I haven't. I guess I haven't watched it, so I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't look that good. It looks like AI generated art. Hmm. What's the plot you of Secret? You can look it up. So what's the plot There's of Secret a... Invasion? I, I don't want to. I don't want any, uh, too much spoiled. But I've I watched. I mean... I've watched bits and back when I was younger. I watched the like animate not. The the original the original like Marvel's Avengers animated series, I watched yeah. bits and pieces of that, and the scrolls had replaced all of the Avengers, and so they were trying to figure out who was who. And yeah, the I think it's to basically the same thing as that, but um, smaller scale since they don't have the budget to get those guys to come on. Hmm. So I think they have. A couple stars, like I think War Machines in it, but I don't know who they have totally. Well, they've got. Uh, I mean, and all the branding. It looks like they've got uh, like. Uh, so wait a minute. So have the scrolls betrayed uh, Fury? That's who I'm thinking of. Pretty much, there's two uh, two factions. That's what I thought. There's what's that actor's name that plays Krennic? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, he's still with Fury, but he's like got thrown out of power. And then his daughter, aka Amelia Clark, is on the bad side. Hmm. And then there's a different person leading that group. So. Interesting. Yeah, I, I just wasn't a... I was interested in the storyline, but I didn't think they did a good job in the first episode, so I might pick it up, but we'll see. Hmm. I'm kind of just off the Marvel thing. Yeah, Marvel's been... I don't know. I will say, though, the whole... I, I never liked the scroll storyline, because it's just like... You know, I, I, that was always like in every television show where they always did the clone episode where they had somebody who looked like somebody else. I never liked that. You know? I think it's okay when it's done the right way. There, but, but there really isn't the time, a, I don't hard. know. There really isn't a right way. It always bugs me because it's like, you know, it's just like I never liked those, ep those episodes. It, they just mm -hmm. kind of bothered me. And so now, here we are with the actual, uh, now here we are in Marvel where it's going to be like that every single episode for everything. And it's just like, oh. Mm. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the scrolls, so. I. I. Mm. Yeah, well, I like how the Kree know. are very different. From the way they're portrayed in uh, Agents of Shield, mm -hmm. they're just now they're just like regular ass aliens, and it's like what? Right, they're just, they're just humans, but blue, and it's like wait a minute, wait a minute. I was under the impression these are warmongering, you know, beings, 
But maybe mm-hmm. that was like just the faction that, and they're like super strong and shit, and their blood can turn humans into Kree. I have no idea. Oh, uh, you you never watched Agents of Shield? I watched like two episodes. That was about it. I thought I I liked Agents of Shield a lot. That's what kind of got me into Marvel. Interesting. I watched it day one as a kid. Day one. I watched it when it first came out, but it was just something on cable that was on. Yeah, I, I, they had for the first season, they had a guy who would go and give a recap. On So this was back when, like, they had, like, ABC.go or whatever. So you'd, they were trying to, you know, back when ABC was, like, tr- first starting to get into the online game. Mm. And you could go and watch the... So, like, there was a few times my recordings got screwed up on the, you know, on Dish because this was... There were storms or something stupid happened or it got canceled or it just didn't record or whatever. Anyways. Yeah. I couldn't watch it, so I'd go and rewatch the episode online. And you had this guy give a recap, and he was freaking hilarious. Oh, my God. He he would like have these paper dolls to represent everybody in the show. Oh my god, he was hilarious! And so like I was all ready for him to come back in season two, and they didn't bring him for season two, and never, and they only did it for season one. And I was very disappointed because he was freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's sad. Holy crap! You know who? You know who he might have been? He might have been Lucas from uh, from uh, Doc from uh, House MD. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. I wonder if it was. I don't know what I would look up. I'd have to, like, Google... Narration. Uh, it, it wasn't, like, a narration. It was, uh... uh Agents... Of... Shield... Recap... Guy... Hmm. I don't know how to season one recap. Uh, Agents of Shield S- season one recap guy. There was a guy who's on. I don't know. I I don't know what his name was. He was on abc.com. Sounds like something you can do a deep dive into. Hmm. I don't know. I I would I would I mean, I could try and like go through uh I could try and go through online on abc.com or .go or whatever and see if I can find it. But that... <sighs> Deep in the archives. Yeah, I don't know where you would go to find that, to be honest. I wonder... You know, I almost wonder if it isn't somewhere on in here. If you go to Marvel and you go to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I almost wonder if it wouldn't be included. As like a special thing. I still have I need to watch do I need to watch the Guardians holiday special? Is that important? Um I did not, but if you it actually there is one character that's important, so Okay, I probably need to watch that. Before I watch Guardians three. Oh. Yeah, I was very very confused about someone who was in the movie, but he apparently can't Came from it, so. You know who you need to watch? What? You need to watch Agent Carter. That's it another really... show where I watch like an episode. Huh? 
That's another show where I watched like one single episode. You should have watched the whole season. It doesn't play into anything else. I mean, now you know who Agent Carter is because like, as I like who it was before from the movie. So yeah, but like the movie doesn't explore very much, and it's it gives nice like filler to who she is, and also tells you who Jarvis is and and Stark, young uh, Howard Stark, young Howard. Yeah, it tells you who that it, it tells you more about young Howard. Pretty cool. Well, I thought it was. You can a, go see Oppenheimer. I, I I want to. Yes. Yeah, you better. Becca's gonna go see Barbie. I. You know what? I. So we got. So we get the the bank gets Vogue. For whatever reason, we get Vogue magazine in the mail. Yeah. And so, in June, Margot Robbie was on the cover because mm-hmm. she plays Barbie, and yeah. I was just like, I have to read it. So I read most of the, I didn't read most of it. I didn't read the mm-hmm. end because like there was literally just a text, like literally you're, you're skimming through the magazine, reading through this article about the Barbie movie, and then you get to the very end where there's literally like two pages of text wall. Imagine a magazine, right? The size of a magazine. And it's mm-hmm. just solid text wall. Yeah. And it's just like... And there's and you flip it over, and there's a whole other page of that, too. It's like, oh, my God! It's, it's a lot of reading. It's like, you know, that's like 10 pages of a novel. I'm like, oh! I'm like, no. Pass. Pass. The article wasn't that great. All right. Mm-hmm. About the movie. All right. Oh, it doesn't have any like. Su- oh, there's the suggested. I need to finish Daredevil, but I think I got to the season where it's no longer canon. Mm-hmm. Because I've never seen that either. Oh. Hmm. No, but I think I got to the point where it's no longer canon because of what they do with uh, with Kingpin. Kingpin. Because he ends up in prison or whatever, I think. I don't remember. I th- But I think I got to the point where he's no longer... Uh, where it's no longer canon. But the beginning's great. Here's a question for you. What do you think is better, um, DC or Marvel? Uh... I mean, I don't watch a lot of DC, so I'm pretty one-sided here. Uh, see, I would personally go, besides the recent movies, I would go DC with everything else. Yeah, I mean, as a kid, I always liked DC stuff, cause, but that was all there was. Marvel yeah. didn't exist. There was, like, Disney showed, like I said, the original eight uh, Avengers yeah, I was a I big I like I still probably like DC a tad more overall, but right. But hopefully they make some live action stuff. But I liked I mean when I watched DC I mean the Batman animated series is fantastic. Yeah, that that one and the two thousand four one's pretty decent too, and then the Justice League ones are really good. I, don't, I never watched the just is that the is that the more mature one? Um, there's movies that are like mature, but the actual series are pretty much the same animation style as uh, the Batman. Yeah, uh, but series. like I thought they were they were, I thought they were more mature. There was like the ones where you actually see them swear and stuff with the Joker. Uh, no, that's like movies with the Justice League. Oh, how many? Those are good too, though. How many movies are there? Because it almost, like when I watch like the the reels and stuff of them, it feels like a t- series. It feels like a they slower. Ha- um, they probably have like a good ten to fifteen different animated movies on DC characters. All right. Yeah. All right. So I think it's all on Max. Yeah. So. You can watch them when you come up here, maybe. 
<laughs> that or you can rotate your Disney Plus and HBO Max. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll have to get a. I, I yeah, maybe I'll have to when I finish my Disney Plus binge, I'll have to switch yeah, there's over. A, there's enough content to keep you busy there for like a long time. On where? I'm a, I like I I probably watch Max the most out of any streaming service. That doesn't surprise me. There's a lot on there. I mean. It's got yeah, all like the obscure stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to watch. Because it's got South Park now, doesn't it? Yeah, that has it. I don't watch South Park, but it has it. Except for, like, one season that's on Hulu. Because they made a deal with Hulu and then broke the deal. Because <laughs> the show started getting popular again. And so uh, Hulu was going to limit them. So they went back to HBO. So they went to HBO. HBO. <sighs> so, oh my god. I would watch so much South Park be unhealthy but like there's so much on disney plus like there's like you know the series i watched as a kid i kind of want to rewatch. like when i finished clone wars i kind of want to rewatch. uh oh i do want to watch agents of shield but that's seven seasons each episode's 45 minutes long each season is uh okay these are the later seasons then you look at the earlier ones where the, that's like a lot of math Oh well, yeah, yeah. With well, the original seat, with well, the original seasons are very long. They're you know we're forty five minute. We're talking forty five minute episodes, and the and there's twenty two episodes per season. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how long that's gonna take for me to watch. A long time. Yeah. Stupidly long time. <laughs> I will say though, Agents of Shield gets Agents of Shield after season two gets weird. Actually, after season one it gets weird. Because <laughs> season one, right? So the show starts off with they, they they follow, you know, the Marvel timeline and like what's going on in Marvel really well. But then yeah, you know, but then they at the end of season one, they. Uh, well, at some point during season one, the whole uh, theory, uh, you know, you have Winter Soldier happens and S.H.I.E.L.D. breaks mm -hmm. apart, so they're no longer S.H.I.E.L.D. So they're on their own thing, doing their own stuff, and so they yeah. split off from the rest of Marvel. This is also probably right, right around the same time Disney's buying them up or whatever, I would assume. Well, no, Disney would have already owned them. But not this yeah. property. I don't think Disney owned this property yet. Oh, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yeah. And I don't think it's until the series ended, did they? Because Season 7, it felt like they were building up to Thanos. But I don't know. I, I, I really, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They're also building up to Coulson finally actually dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's uh, funny that they never actually brought him back in a movie. No, I, I, and there's a reason why. The whole reason why Coulson died, and they never showed him again, is because well, I mean, he, they did bring him back, not but not in recent times, is because yeah. they didn't want him. Because the whole the whole Coulson dying was the whole reason the Avengers got together in the first place. And so, mm -hmm. if they showed, hey, look, he didn't actually die. That might cause a catastrophic implosion. Of course, we had Civil War, so it happened anyways. Uh, but you get the picture, right? And now, yeah. well, Coulson's irrelevant, so. <laughs> and a lot yeah. of the Avengers are like, who the hell's this guy? You know? Yeah, they'd be like, who is this? Who, who's this dude? You know? I feel, like a lot of the, a lot, I feel like a lot of the new Avengers wouldn't even know who the frick Nick Fury is. No, probably not. They're like, who's this pretty, guy? Yeah, like, uh, the strange the episode, they're saying he's useless in uh, Secret Invasion. Who? Nick Fury. The, oh, they say he's useless? Yeah. Why? They just, because he hasn't been doing anything for so long. That's because he's not on a world. Yeah, so they pretty much just say he's useless. Because a scroll yeah, replaced much. him. He pretty much acts useless that whole time as well. Because it's not him. It's a scroll. 
No, no, like in the actual show, I'm saying he was like useless the first episode. Well, yeah, because it's still not him. It's a scroll. No, no, it's him in the first episode. How do you know? How do you know? Because they literally reference him being off world and stuff. I and still think it, I don't. I still Krennic think that'll guy. be like a big reveal. It won't actually be him. No, because Krennic's the one who acted as him. Hmm. And then Krennic's the one who's not him in the show. Oh, okay. He's off in imitating other people. Yeah. No kidding. Oh. Oh. I see. Did you have any closing remarks? I probably should go start my dinner. No, no, I, I don't. I uh, I gotta. I was gonna stream today. I think, anyways. So. What are you streaming today? Uh, more Minecraft. I was, I you know, I I streamed for eleven hours yesterday. That wasn't enough, apparently. So. Jeez, that is long. Yeah, it didn't feel that uh, long though. It was quick. Quick. Like, like when, it, when it was done, I was like, "What? Eleven I'll hours have to get is get on and watch you, huh? I'll have to get on and watch you when you're doing it today." Yeah, I don't know how long it'll be since it's already four thirty, but we'll see. Might be like an oh, hour. That sounds. All right. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'll have better to sign off. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every Friday, 12 p.m. Central Time. And good night.